Hello guys, this is Real Takedo. Welcome back to another episode of Valkyria Chronicles 4. If you have watched my previous one or two videos of Valkyria Chronicles 4, you can hear that the mic when I'm talking it's very very quiet. I sincerely apologize. Apologize for that because I'm not really sure what the heck is wrong with my mic at that time. I did not change any setting, my mic wasn't damaged or anything. But I guess it's overall my fault because I have failed to test the sound quality before I do a proper recording so sorry about that. So let us recap. Uh, right now we are in the second part of chapter 13. In the previous episode we had to save the resistance leader. I can't remember his name because uh, it has been some time since I last played this so yeah. So, before we continue on with the story, we're gonna go to the mess hall and get that new skill. Riley, we need to talk about how much ammo you're using. Okay, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I wonder why I couldn't... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, why I couldn't fast forward this scene or skip this scene because we've pretty much been through this scene last episode. Yeah. So let me quickly smash that. X button. Smash, 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 smash. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Are you done? Okay. Uh, resupply cost 21,000 EXP. Okay, let's get that. Thank you. Thank goodness. A secure ammo supply route. Oh, I mean, for the record, I'm happy for everyone, not just Raz. Oh, don't pretend, Kai. So with that done, let us go to some training. And okay, let me adjust my TV. <laughs> so who will it be today? My TV is a little bit crooked, so <laughs> I want to adjust my TV a little bit. Okay, who should I train? Okay, I want to train this trooper lead. Any new orders? No new orders. But let us level up the scout instead because I have been using Everyone a lot of scout for the for the past few chapters. So yeah, why not? And my engineer still remain as useless as Congratulations. always. Yeah, pretty much I've never I've rarely really used engineer. For any of the Valkyria Chronicle games in the past. Done for the day? Except for two, I think. Two, I think the engineers are much more useful. But I can't seem to remember. I can't seem to remember, so. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So let us quickly, quickly, what? quickly upgrade our weapons. Ping. Thank you. Okay, uh, how many upgrades left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, 5! We are almost nearing the end of the game. I'm so excited because it has been such a long time since I last seen. All done, Claude! Green trees, uh, brown dirt. It has all been. Oh my god, I don't have enough money, seriously. It has all been white snow. Hey, I think I don't have enough money. Very soon. Doesn't matter. Can I upgrade this? Oh no. Why I don't have enough money? I'm pretty sure I've gotten a ring. Ah, For the past few chapters, I mean past few missions. So let us quickly look at the news. I don't think we have any news. Okay, that's good. We don't have to waste more time with the headquarters. So let us jump into the second patch of chapter 13. A Patriot's Sacrifice. <sighs> Guess that's a wrap. All the resistance members made it out safe as well. And the general? The interrogation was rough on him. But it's nothing life-threatening. He's safe in the car. We'll take him to our headquarters. I think it's time he joined us as our leader. I see. 
Glad to hear it. We can handle the rest from here. You'd better get going. You're all in a hurry, aren't you? Yeah. We need to end this war before springtime, remember? It's a promise, then. My baby's counting on me. Ah, right. You should know. If it's a boy, I plan on naming him Claude. What? I, I, uh, I don't know if I really deserve to have someone named after me. He's got a point. You don't want him turning out to be a stick in the mud like this guy. Well, if he's a stick in the mud, he'll be a tough one. And that's good enough for me. Goodbye, everyone. I wish you all the best of luck. That car, huh? Sniper! Damn it! They're after the general! We need to move. <laughs> Come on. These resistance guys are all just civilians, huh? No regulations to follow. No medals for their heroes. But if anyone's a hero, it was him. He ran on his own faith. We'd never have rescued the general without him. But he had a reason to survive. You all heard him. How could he leave his baby behind? He lived a life to be proud of. He never turned away from doing the right thing. Not even when it meant death. One more reason we have to stop the Empire. We made him a promise. Yeah. Okay, so looking at that cutscene, I have to assume that Mika is dead. If Mika is dead, how could he name his baby Claude? But that's a very that's a very heavy topic to talk about. So let us see what's in this next episode. this cotton could you roll them up into little pieces about the size of a fingertip I soak them in alcohol for disinfecting okay hmm? <laughs> those are a bit too small sweetie they'll have to be a little bigger than this but you said it had to be the size of a fingertip <laughs> I'm sorry I forgot your hands are a wee bit smaller than mine. How about this? I need them the size of a hard candy. You've had those before, haven't you? Uh-huh. One of the soldiers gave me one yesterday. There you go, then. Just fill up the jar with cotton balls that size. I have to say, my job's gotten a lot easier with such a helpful little assistant. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> I wish I could stay here and help you all the time, Sergio. <laughs> I'd be happy for the help. Karen's skilled, but she's better suited to surgical matters. You'd make a fine nurse one day, if you wanted to be one. I guarantee it. I wish I could. Then I could stay with everyone forever. Oh, I'm sure you can. What's got you so uncertain? Everyone accounted for them. Thank you for the report. The ship will be back on course soon. Do what you can to help finish resupplying and prepare to embark. So, Squad E made it back in time. Yes, just as expected. But their morale seems low right now. There were some losses suffered in the local resistance group. On the other hand, the team seems more united in their goal than ever before. I'm glad they're on our side. 
But I'm afraid the key to the rest of this operation is... Oh, that's one of the blocked transmission lines. It's coming from Ship One. We're being hailed by the Cavalier. Put them through, now. Yes, sir. Captain. Interlude, The Witch and the Wolf. Mr. Wallace, the Resistance wanted you to have this medal. Please accept it as a token of their gratitude. Ooh, we got the blue rose. Receive an accessory as a reward. Improve K. Oh. In this story, you can go to the next page without reading the scenes. Oh. Uh, go to the next page. What's the next page? 14. Chapter 14. Azure Flame. What? You mean. You mean that's all for chapter 13? Uh, does that mean that we have to end this episode here? But uh, this episode is kind of too short, so why not let us go read up the newspaper instead? Okay, let us do that. Uh, let's see. Meals. Okay. Lovo home grabs at freedom. Some imperial territories were previously independent lands having been forced under the empire's rule by coercion and military aggression. Lower Holm is one such nation. Lower Holm's geopolitical position put it into conflict with the empire many times. When war broke out, it was immediately taken under imperial control. The empire rules them with an iron fist and its citizens suffer under regulation of free speech, confiscation of assets, forceful requisition of personnel, and other oppressive tactics. Many refugees have already fled, but some, determined to restore freedom to their homeland, have stayed behind, forming an underground militia against the Empire. The war against the Empire may ultimately be a fight over control of Europa. Still, it's important to remember that this war may free those who suffer under imperial rule. Yet another reason the Empire must fall for the safety, freedom, and happiness of those suffering in Lower Home. Okay, let's check out the next one. Heroes of Northern Cross. According to the time sources, the death count of Operation Northern Cross has now surpassed 2 million. Really? It doesn't really feel like there's a lot of people on the battlefield. While the Federation military reminds us that these numbers are unconfirmed, they admit that the final count is slightly not far off and still climbing this would make it the highest death toll of any military operation in history. History's greatest counterattack has become history's greatest military human cause. By now, the sheer number of deaths have some questioning whether the Federation could afford to continue the operation, let alone the war. Certainly, that would be a natural reaction to see the tragic consequence of our struggle and wonder what would become of us. However, we have our own duty for the sake of the soldiers who continue to fight for us and for our land's peace. We keep the harm fires burning. We cannot give up hope to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, to honor those who fight on our behalf with every passing hour. We must stay strong until the dawn of our victory. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much it for chapter 13. I do not expect it to be very short. So in the next episode, we will continue on with the interlude, the witch and the wall. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.